Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Definitely turn on post notifications. For today's video, the full drop list for week three just dropped. So I'm gonna go through the NBA collab, um, resale predictions, personal cops, etc. Also do my second Supreme giveaway of the season. I'll put a link down below in the description for the video that has all the details. It's all the retail estimates are gonna be coming from are coming from Drops by Jay, his website. So if you wanna go check that out, you can go check that out. First, we're gonna talk about the shorts. So retail insurance is gonna be 172. Okay, so what I think about the shorts. Now, basically, the shorts to me look horrible. Um, I'm not with all the teams on like, like so many teams on one pair of shorts. It's not, you know, I know, I know what they're trying to do, but it's, like, it's not my style. I'm not really into it, but like, I'm pretty sure the hype is gonna love it. They're gonna buy it because there is a uh, Supreme Box logo on it, I think on the back. Um, so yeah, that really doesn't do it for me. Maybe it was on the front. But on the back of the shorts, I'm not really into it. Uh, will I cop them? Most likely, I'm gonna cop them. If I go in the store and they still have them, I'm gonna cop them. But online, am I gonna try to go for them online? No. If I'm um, definitely gonna try to go for them online, because I'm just not feeling them. But if I'm in store and they're there, I'll buy them. Because um, I, I think reselling them are gonna be 250. So with the retail's 172, I think resell will be like 250. So like if I'm in store and they're there, I would cop them. But other than that, would I go for them? No. And this story. Okay, so let's talk about the jersey now. The jersey is retail in jersey is 228. Um, will I be copying the jersey? Most likely, if it like like I said, if it's in the store, I will cop it. But other than that, will I try online for it? No. Do I am I do I like it? No. Um, like I said, I'm not really feeling all the teams in one shirt. Um, to me, basically to me, jerseys are dead. Like that that whole wearing basketball jersey died a long time ago, and I don't see it ever coming back. Like I would I would wear like a football jersey, baseball jersey to like a sports game or like you know, or something like that. But as far as basketball jerseys go, I think they're dead and they're not coming back. But the hype piece will definitely, gonna, the top piece is gonna buy because like I said, there is a Supreme Box logo. On the jersey, the, the Supreme Box logo is on the front. So that's something. If I do get the whole set, I will probably like do like some crazy hype piece outfit. You know, I'll get the sleeve, I'll get the, sh the shooting sleeve, the sneakers, the the, 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 uh, the warm up jacket, everything. But, but other than that, I'm, am I into the jersey? No. So yeah, I think resale alone is gonna be like 325 plus. So if you're buying it for resale, that's definitely you definitely make your money back plus some. So other than other than that, I won't, I don't really see the point again unless you're gonna resell it. So I'll, so yeah. Okay, now let's talk about the Air Force One mids. Retail on them is 165. They come in two colors, black and white. White is definitely more hype than a black colorway. So if you're gonna get them, definitely go for the white. Um, am I a fan of them? No, but I've been seeing them over and over again. At first, I was not a fan, but you know, I see them over and over and over again, and the inner hype piece is like, it's like, oh, like, yo, these are so, these are so fresh, I, I gotta get them, but <laughs> I hate it for this one, I would never rock them, um, so, so this is just the hype piece of me saying that, so sometimes you just get like, you just gotta slap yourself, and, yo, no, but, but like I said, will I try for them online? If I was gonna try for them online, these were like my second thing to go for online, like, there's something I would go for first ahead of these, but these will be like my second thing if I went for anything online. These will be like number two on my list. If you're gonna cop for retail, you can definitely make your money plus some um, plus some easy profit. Cause like I said, reselling these are gonna be like easily 300 plus. Especially since they're only dropping online, they won't be dropping in stores. So definitely, so definitely if you want them, yeah. Now let's talk about my favorite piece of the, the collab collection is the warmer jacket, which will be retailing for 328. It comes in three colorways, um, a denim, then a black satin and a white satin. Um, all three colorways to me are fire. Um, my favorite, I would say, is either the black or white. Uh, also denim. I, I like all of them. What can I say? I like all, I like all three colors. But the white is the white is fresh. I don't know. I'm I'm leaning towards that or the black. We'll we'll see what happens. What's if I go in store and what's left? If I get a good number, we don't know yet. Um, but if if I don't if I get a bad number, I'll definitely try it online and I'll probably go for like the white one. Um, I see resale on these easily hitting 500 plus because this is definitely the most hype item of the drop. So yeah, if you're if you're gonna go for anything online, definitely go for this first. It, it's I mean it's gonna sell out first. So if you don't wanna take that risk, you could you could go for something else. But these I see moving quickly. So let's move on to the, the regular week three drop items. Um, first off, we have the water bottle. Water bottle retail is 36. Now if you're capping this to resell, resell on these is easy. It's gonna be like 90 bucks. So you're definitely making like you're making good profits, especially since it's only thirty-six dollars. So yeah, definitely, it's a definitely a cop. Um, it's gonna sell out online quickly too, but they should have a lot in store. So like, if if you have like a high number, most likely you're gonna get it. Now let's talk about the pen. The pen retail is, I believe, sixty-eight dollars. Uh, it's pretty expensive for a pen. Those model pens are really expensive as it is. So yeah, so 
basically like, with the supreme tags you're not looking for that much more i guess because i heard the, the pens are really expensive on their own but i can see if you're looking to resell the pen i can see it if you're like one of the first people to get it i can see it going from anywhere from like 120 to 150 but like i said that's only if you're like the one of the first people to get it so if you like have it in hand right away you can easily flip it for 120 150 in my opinion um but other than that if you get it late the price will like shoot down because so many people have it by then it's gonna shoot down it'll, it'll go up eventually but like in the beginning it'll it'll you know you know how it goes it goes high then it goes low but um but like i said it's gonna be like 120 or 50 if you're like one of the first people to have it so like if you're like the top like basically if you're in store and you're like the top 100 you can easily flip it for 120 or 50 in my opinion now let's move on to the corner arc long sleeve polo which retails for 118. now if you think this item looks similar it's because the corner arc jacket dropped week one or zero whichever one you want to say it as but yeah it dropped it was like basically same colorways but instead of being a jacket now it's a long sleeve polo so if you're looking to resell um i can see really sell on this jacket going from anywhere from 175 to 200 with the uh, with the white and navy colorway being the hype the most bit the best colorway to get so if you're gonna get this this polo long sleeve polo you would get it in the white and navy colorway other than that i don't see the other colorways moving as much so if you're thinking about reselling, get in the white and navy. So now let's move on to the reflective nylon taping pullover, which retails for 158. Now, in my opinion on the pullover, it's a nice pullover. Um, I would say I would say if I'm saying go for any color, I would say go for the tan colorway because you know you got the tan backpack, you got the tan shoulder bag, and you got the tan waist bag. So I believe like all the hype beasts are gonna be going for the tan colorway. So that's gonna be like to me the hype colorway because you already have like so many tan, tan items that dropped and they sold out before. All the other colorways, all the items. I can see it go for like 300 plus. So if you get it to resell, definitely go for the tan. Okay, so that's it for the items I think re that was going to resell or have like decent resell. Now I'm going to talk about my personal items that I'm going to personally cut for me that I don't know if they're going to resell like, but I'm kidding them because to me, they're for personal. So first item for personal cut for me would be the striped hooded sweatshirt in the purple colorway, which retails for 148 Now to me, this is just a personal cut for me. I don't know about resell. I don't, I don't know how it's going to go. You, you you probably make money on it, but to me, I'm getting it for personal because I, I like the colorway. It's personal back to me, and the, the, it's like dope colorway, so I'm definitely going to copy for personal. Other than, um, if you want to copy for personal, that's up to you. If you want to copy for resale, that's also up to you, but I won't be copying for resale. I'll be, this is just a personal copy for me. So I, don't, I don't know anything about I don't have any predictions about how the resale is going to go for it, so if you're going to copy it, you copy it for personal. That's all I can, that, that's my opinion on it. Okay, next item I'm gonna cut for personal is the Gans logo hooded sweatshirt, which retails for 158. Now I'm gonna get this sweatshirt in the craziest colorway to have, which is the yellow. I'm gonna get in yellow because I just wanna be I wanna be loud with the hoodie. I just wanna be like I just wanna everyone to like see me and not be because I just wanna stunt and I just wanna stunt in the hoodie. I want it to be loud, I want it to be obnoxious. So that's why I'm going for that colorway. Um it's just a personal cop. I don't know what resale is gonna be on it, so like I said, if you're if you're copying it for uh, resale, I have I don't I don't know I don't have any opinions on what resale is gonna be, but if you're gonna cop for personal, it's definitely it's nice it's a nice hoodie so it says Supreme across the front and you know the guns in the gun style. If you're gonna cop, it's up to you. Other than that, um, yeah, it's a good hoodie. Okay, the last item on a personal cap would be the guns logo six panel cap. It retails for forty eight. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna cop this. I just have to see in person. If I see a person and I like it, I'll cop it. Other than that, if I don't, I won't cop it. That pretty much sums up all my resale predictions, my personal cops, and everything I think is going to move and not move. Like I said, all this is my opinion, um, which could be wrong, could be right. Who knows? It. We don't know how these hype beats go. So, so yeah. So don't take it as fact. If if you don't agree with me, that's fine. Like I said, this is my opinion. All this is my opinion. It's at the end of the day, it's whatever you want to do with it. I'm just sharing you what you might thought. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you. But yeah, if you um if you like the video, hit the, hit the thumbs up. Um, also subscribe, turn on post notifications. Also let me know down below in the comments what you plan on keeping or what you plan don't plan on keeping, or if you agree with me on some of these items, or if you don't, if you disagree with me on the items. So my camera's about to die, so I have to end the video now. But as always, don't let them haters keep you down. Stay positive. It's easy to hate, hard to love. Peace.